Hey guys, what's up? It's Kath Acro. If you're new to my channel, I make mostly Minecraft videos. Today we're gonna be doing a super quick little cactus farm tutorial. It's really, really simple. It looks great in your world and you're gonna get tons of cactus. This will work on PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and probably the other legacy editions as well. Also, if you guys missed it, this week I'm posting a whole bunch of tutorials. So I already did a melon pumpkin farm and I also did a sugarcane farm. So go and check them out and then stick around because at the end of the video, we're going to be heading to the Pyramid of Eternity and putting up some more names on science. So stay tuned. So these are the materials you're going to need 40 building blocks you're going to need eight sand at least one ladder at least one chest one hopper a water bucket eight cactus 20 fence glass which is optional and a furnace is also optional so you're going to start by building a square that's 11 by 11 Now you're gonna add 16 sand blocks, making sure that none of the sands are touching each other. So just follow exactly what I'm doing here. Now you're gonna dig a hole straight down in the center. Go down at least three blocks. I would go down more, but I am in a super flat, so I couldn't. Go down at least three. Then you're going to build a tunnel to get out of there at least eight blocks deep. Now you're going to add a ladder just so you can get in and out. Now inside the tunnel, you're going to place a chest right under the hole. And now just as we've been doing in all the past farms, we're going to be placing a hopper. Make sure it's going into the chest. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but Make sure you're crouching and place it into the chest. Now you're gonna take fence and this pattern is a little bit complicated to explain so I'll try my best but just follow exactly what I'm doing. Place three fence on top of each other and then one on each side so you're gonna have sort of like a T design. And just do that four times, so one in each corner. So it should look like this. But now what you're actually gonna do is knock out the center of the T. So you're just gonna leave two sides of the fence hanging there. Now you're gonna place your 16 cactus on top of the sand blocks. And now you're ready to put your water. So you're just gonna put one water bucket in each corner. So it's pretty simple. You just want all that water flowing into the center. So it's gonna go into your hopper. So basically how this works is when the cactus grows, it's going to hit into those fence blocks because um, cactus can't grow beside anything. So it's going to fall off into your water and then flow into the hopper. And then you're going to just collect it underneath in the chest. This is actually a really good farm there. You can see one going in. Um, it, I get so much cactus, you guys. It's unbelievable. So I'm going to show you how I set mine up, but you guys can, I mean, do whatever you want with it. I'm just going to build a larger tunnel here because I think it looks better because you might want to add a double chest. You guys are going to get a lot of cactus or maybe even put a hopper and connect it to another chest. And then I'm just decorating with a, a little pot and some cactus in it. I don't know. That, this is so unnecessary, but I just think it looks cute. So I'll show you guys what I did with mine in my Let's Play world because I did it a little bit different. This is just to give you guys ideas so you can play around with it. So as you can see, mine is hooked up directly to a furnace. So it just falls straight through. It goes through one hopper into a chest, into another hopper, and then into a furnace. And so this just automatically cooks up my 
cactus. I don't have any fuel in there, so it's not gonna be cooking anytime soon, but uh, usually I do have it fueled. <laughs> also, I did put glass around my build because animals can get in. Like you will find sheep and stuff in there. So I think it's better to put glass around it, but it doesn't look as cute. So I didn't wanna put that for the tutorial, but yeah, definitely covered up with something. So let's move on now to the pyramid of eternity and I'll get your guys names on some signs. Here we are, let me just remind you guys that if you want your name on a sign, please let me know and try to comment on like my most current video instead of my older ones because sometimes it's hard to like go through older comments and so starting off this week we have Jason Pison. I hope I'm saying that right and also I really really hope you find your world that you can't open anymore that's so sad it's happened to me and it's just oh it's so depressing like it's really truly depressing so I really hope you can find that but anyway thank you so much for your comments I really appreciate it so I really hope you like your pillar. You'll see, I'm trying to fill up the pillars so everybody today is, is on a pillar, uh, but they're really cool because they're in the middle of the pyramid, so it's a really cool spot. Next we have George Granillo. I hope I said that right as well. Um, I really appreciate your comment about the duping. I'm gonna have to give it a try. It sounds really, really awesome, so thanks a lot. I love getting comments. They give me advice on how to do things. It's just so helpful, so thank you so much. Oops, not that one. On this one, we have Ezermester Bonifac. I hope I said that right as well. Uh, thank you so much for your comment, Ezermester. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for everybody who leaves comments. I really appreciate it. You guys are truly the best. Anyway, you guys, that's all for today's video. I'm gonna try and post another one tomorrow because I do start school this week, so I'm a little bit depressed about that. I haven't studied at all, so I'm starting back school. My vacation is over. Anyway, life goes on. So I'll see you guys next time and <clears throat> by the way, make sure you check out my playlist for my Let's Play series. I'll link it down below. Okay, bye.